Um, there was a moment in Florida when I felt like God told me that I will never cut you because I felt like I'd been cut. I'd been cut mm. by my father before I was born. I'd been cut by the molestation. I'd been cut by the rape. I'd been cut by who was supposedly my best friend. I had been cut by the person that I married. Mm. Um, I'd been cut by so many and God promised me as someone who said he loved me and meant it, that he would never cut me, but he wanted to cut off from me all of these things that were holding me back, but it would require my trust mm. and it would require me talking about it. Mm. And the very things that I was so afraid to talk about, as I've used them as a platform, the more I speak about them, the more freed I am from them and the more healed I am of them because they're no longer this dark prison or bondage on the inside of me and a door that I refuse to open. That door is flung open wide and my feelings are out there and on paper. And the very thing that I thought would cause people to stone me, they've, it's actually bond them, bonded them to me. Mm -hmm. My bondage has turned into bonds of friendship.